Zechariah chapter 4, here God is talking to the exiles, the Jews who were exiled in Persia, and he is encouraging them to return to the land and rebuild his kingdom. And it seemed impossible. How could they do this? And for those who did return, it seemed all too difficult. So much opposition from the local people, lack of resources, etc., and God says, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. So, it is not a case of human might and human adequacy and human ability, human wealth, human talent that's required. It is all of his spirit. It was the Lord's spirit, the spirit of God, that stirred up the spirit of Cyrus to suddenly say, Oh, any Jews here in my empire, you can go to Jerusalem, rebuild your temple, rebuild your kingdom. In fact, I really command you to do this and I will provide all the building materials. I'll finance it. Please go. It was not by human might or power, but by God's spirit, providing totally everything that they needed. But most of the Jews preferred to stay in Babylon and Persia. Why? Because they didn't believe this. They thought, no, we need more might, we need more power, not God's spirit. It's God's style to work through the inadequate. I stand here in Riga, Latvia, where in the last 20 or 25 years we have baptised thousands of people. And it all began with a leaflet that I gave to a man outside the railway station that was thrown on the ground, stepped on by somebody else. Somebody else picked it up and gave it to their father who was the first one baptised out of all those couple of thousand people. This is God's style. Not by might, not by power, not by human eloquence, not by a great ability of evangelism or whatever, but by a little scrappy piece of paper. Not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. This is the key to life with God and to working together with God. Just get it as to his preferred style of working, and you'll see it in your life.